<laughs> you are so soaking wet. Look at that water drip off. <laughs> I love it. Whoa, don't do that. All right, so earlier today, we got a call about a truck and a trailer that slid off in the rainstorm, and it's on about a 30 degree angle at the top of Skyline up Ephraim Canyon. So I got a hold of Cody and I got a hold of Steve and they jumped on Cody's Can-Am and they buzzed up to the top just to check the road conditions because we're gonna be taking the F-550 with the skid steer up there and I wanna make sure that we can make it up there successfully. All right, uh, Robbie called and I guess we got a recovery up here from Canyon and he wants us to take side by side up there and scout it out and see how muddy it is. I think it's four door Chevy truck with like a 30 foot tongue pole trailer behind it. Oh, looks like we found the truck and trailer. And we're gonna get a closer look at it and see what we gotta do. All right, we made it up to the truck and trailer, assess the situation. So we're gonna go back down, load up with the skid stir, get hillbilly in the trekker. This one's gonna be a little bit fun. As you can see, they've got it held up by a jack so it ain't rolling. All right, so we made it to Maverick. We're fueling up the tow truck. We're fueling up the skid loader, the trekker, the Can-Am, getting some road snacks. We got Cody, Steve, and Hillbilly, and the boss with us today. And we're headed up to get this truck and trailer out. And we might drive across Skyline, see if we can help anybody else. Got a lot of fuel to put in everything, and then we're gonna hit the road. All right, so the tow truck took 18 gallons, and this is probably empty too. My nephew's been using it to do some landscaping, and he probably forgot to fill it up. We're fueled up, and we're gonna head up the canyon. So we're taking the F-550 because this sucker has four wheel drive and hopefully that helps us get to the top. So it should be a pretty good day. Blue skies here, cloudy over there. So the nice thing about going up on recoveries is we get to come up in this beautiful mountain here in Sampy County that we don't always get to come up here because we're so busy. So whenever we have jobs or rescues up here, we really enjoy it because it's just beautiful. Hey, even Cody is excited to come up with us on his day off because he gets to get out on his Can-Am and come hang out. Well, we can get the tow truck all the way to where we're going. Well, Steve says we can make it, so we're driving all the way up with the 550. We just hit the dirt road. We're going to go all the way up. What happens if we get stuck? We unload the skid steer and we get unstuck. All right, so we've made it to the top of Ephraim Canyon. We are on Skyline Drive. We're just about to hit the fork where you can head over to Manti or head to Orangeville. A little bit down this road, we should be able to find the truck. We'll go walk it, we'll figure out what we're gonna do, assess it, and execute our plan. Steve says it's just right over here. So being Labor Day weekend, it's pretty busy up here. So we've seen a lot of people. A lot of people are up here recreating and having a good time. If you guys ever wanna come to Sampy County, this is the Skyline Drive. You can look up the Arapine trails. There's so many trails across this valley that you guys could come and enjoy. Then you can come and see us. So the choice is yours. So right here, I ended up losing audio, unfortunately. So what I want to talk to you about is an opportunity for you to come and hang out with us for a day. September 30th, we will be hosting Gloss University at Late Auto Body right here in Ephraim, Utah. This is going to be introduction to car care and detailing basics. So if you have little to no experience, this is the class for you. Come hang out for the day. There's going to be some awesome instructors teaching you the basics of washing, detailing. This class will help gain an understanding of how to care for and maintain your vehicle's paint finish. Gain a deeper understanding understanding of paint protection products and applications such as generic wax versus ceramic coatings. This class is perfect for a beginner detailer or car enthusiast looking to learn more in a group setting. If this sounds like something you're interested, make sure you click that link in the description and we'll see you on September 30th at Leighton Auto Body and you from Utah. Looks like we found it. So I'm not quite sure the situation of why it's, well actually I can see a road. So you must have slid off that road. So we'll get up here and get it all figured out. All right, so we made it and we've assessed the damage. So this is the owner. He may or may not have been driving. We don't know, but he got into a crappy spot going up this road and with the rain started sliding, backed up and now we're here. Here we are. Now we're going to un, un mess this up. So what I'm thinking we're going to do is we're going to use a skid steer to pull the trailer. So we're going to V off the front of the, the front of the top side and the rear, get a V pulling forward. 
pulling up and back, and then Hillbilly's gonna hook his trekker up up here. We're gonna anchor the trekker to another truck so that it can handle the weight of this Duramax and pull it sideways. Steve will be in the truck as we're backing it all up. So it's gonna be kind of a complicated one. Our goal is to not let the trailer roll. Just no one get hurt? Yeah, and that's I'm our goal. Super grateful for you guys, man. Well, we appreciate the call and yeah. we got the entire you town the watching. That everyone so this is call. super, super cool. I'm just gonna put my blinders on and act like nobody's here. All right, so I'm gonna move the skid steer. Hillbilly's gonna bring the trekker up. We're gonna position the trekker first because we're using the rear winch. So we'll pull you up there. We'll anchor you to that truck. Get your winch line out, get the truck hooked up first. We're gonna bring the skid steer probably back into this neighborhood right here and get it tied up. Sound good? Sounds good. Let's do it. I'm thinking you need to be like more right in here. We're, we're pulling up and this way. And then we gotta, we gotta move the skid loader also. So we're gonna anchor the front to the back of this other truck for weight. We're gonna back you up and I'm gonna just go right through your receiver. So just pull up to where there's pressure and then put it in park. And set your e-brake. Yep, and have him set his e-brake. Good, perfect. All right, so we've got our V all made. We want the pressure sideways, but more back. So we're gonna hook this all up. Hibbilly's gonna grab his winch. We're gonna get pressure on the truck. All right, so we've just about got the V figured out, but we wanna be more up in this area so we're probably gonna end up putting the skid steer up top above the road. So we wanna be, let's go one more. Ex let's see if we can get over into here. Cody, you wanna see if it, the lock's engaged? I don't remember if I engaged it or not. The winch? No. Good, a little bit more. Good, good. So the ground is super, super soft. So as I was digging in, it's just moving the dirt. So we're gonna have Cody in the skid loader, Hillbilly's gonna be in the trekker, and then I'm gonna be down there kind of guiding everybody, figuring out what is working, what is not working, and Steve's gonna be in the truck. Give it a little bit of pressure. Hold it. Okay, let's let the jacks down. So we're gonna let his chains off, get everything out of the way. All right, so Chris is letting the jacks up so that we don't bend them. So now that we've got a little bit of pressure, we're gonna have Cody start winching it and see what it does. Then we're gonna get in the truck and use the truck's power to back this thing up the hill. But I did stand corrected. That is a 6.0 in that truck, not a Duramax. So before the internet beats us up, now you know. Your T posts, if you've never seen them, nine times out of 10, they're a pain to pull. There's teeth on it, so you can't slide back out. They were the anchor point for the trailer, so it didn't try to slide down more or roll. It that did its matter. job. They it did its job. The trailer didn't roll. Okay, keep going. Keep going. Hold it. Um, we're going to have to do this simultaneously. So we got to use a little bit of power from the truck coming backwards. Okay. We're going to get the wheel chocks out of the way. We're going to get Steve in the truck and start doing everything. And all I want you to do, put it in reverse. Ready. Ready but you got to, yep. And we're going to have Hillbilly. We're going to try to, what our goal is, is to do this. Walk it up. Once we get it flat, then we gotta get it up here. Start pressuring it. Have Steve start rolling back. Whoa, 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 stop. We're gonna get this trailer all the way up on and then get that truck up on. If, it, if that wheel starts to lift, then we'll move it. Okay. I'm gonna have Cody pull a little bit. Cody, I'm gonna have you do a little bit. Hillbilly, hold it. Cody, hold it. We're just gonna have to do it slow. A little bit. Hold it. All right, it's working. Okay, hold it. All right, I'm gonna bring it back like four more feet and then we're gonna work on the truck. I want these tires all the way over here because then we gotta go to the truck and pull the truck and as soon as we do, it's gonna kick the trailer. Button stays engaged after a minute. I'm willing the winch in. When I let off, I let off, and then he started yelling and had to click it again. <laughs> I did not know it would stay on. Very, very, very slowly. Give it a tiny bit as he's pulling. Go. 
Go. Go. Just a little, Steve. Go, hillbilly. Cody, tighten up. Hold it. Let's do the front now. Hold it. Hold it, Cody. A little bit more, hillbilly. Turn it all the way to the right. Okay, hillbilly, go. This truck's still off the side. Um, we gotta get, we gotta get the trailer up into here and get the truck up. So I'm gonna keep that hooked up to him and then this hooked up, so tighten it up. We're gonna use the truck's power a little bit. Back up a little, Steve. Very slow. We're gonna keep doing the same thing. I wanna miss this road close sign. A little bit. Okay, hold it, have him back up. Okay, hold it. Go straight. Straighten your wheels. Make sure he doesn't run that stuff over, Chris. Yep. Hold it. Tighten up. A little more. And let me look at the other side. Okay? Keep coming. We're going to have to whip that back end of the truck in a second. Give it a little. Okay, hold it. Whoa, straighten your wheels. You're going to start letting this out. Okay, come back. Right there, okay. Keep coming. Okay, time out then, hold on. Pull, hillbilly. Okay, we need Cody. I'm gonna move this winch out here. We need to reposition hillbilly. Let's, let's unhook and reposition this one over here. Pull it in. Okay, start backing up a tiny bit. Just a little, Steve. We got about five more minutes till it's too slick. Okay, hold it. It's about to get real bad. Okay, now we gotta bring the front end around. So let's hold on there. Yeah, it's about game over. I think we're gonna wait a minute. I wanna bring that front end up before it gets too crazy. Yeah. Get it back up on flat. This is the problem though, is we've gotta get that trailer. I think we can get the trailer stabilized uh -huh. backwards, but then we just gotta bring the truck up. And I think we're gonna have to do a lot of winching. Let's just try to get his wheels up. So we're gonna try to get the truck flat and then we're gonna hang out for a minute and see if the rain will stop. Cause once these roads are covered in water, that's what got him into this mess. So we're gonna attempt to not get into a bigger mess. Okay, turn it passenger and back up a little. Go hillbilly! Cody, tighten up! Go hillbilly! Okay, time out. Everybody, everybody take a deep breath. I want you to pull forward a little bit, but, but go slow. I wanna see if we can get that truck in a different position because now we're in a weird spot. Looks like it's starting to blue skies. We're gonna let it drain out a minute, let some of the slick water run off, and then re then reevaluate our plan. We almost had it until the rain came, but we're gonna move everything around, get repositioned, and get hillbilly pulling backwards on the trailer, and we're gonna use the skid steer to pull the truck sideways. We'll try to get this do you want me, do done. You want, do you want me more angled that yeah, way so it kind of pulls it? I just want you on the road. When naturally you being in the road is gonna pull it onto the road. There you go. No, all right, just go straight back. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Put it down. Get in, hillbilly. Switch, hillbilly. Yeah. You know what? Cody's doing a really good job for his Cody. first time ever trying to operate the skid steering winch. You did fantastic. You did fantastic. <laughs> straight back. Straight back to prove over. And then I'm going back there, right? Yeah. I guess you're pulling me. Oh yeah. More or less. Can you move? He's like trying to pull you, but it's like too slick. He's gonna have to, Robbie, we're gonna have to unhook him. He's just spinning out. I just unhook him. I think Mother Nature is saying don't do this. 
I want Mother Nature to bring more because that means snow soon. Well, yeah, but... It's snowmobile season. Better than a blistering hot day at the, uh, up here. <laughs> okay, you're good. All right, so we're gonna hook the winch up back here so we can completely control this pole to get this trailer back on the road. I'm doing a V off of the back. The rain's not letting up. Stopped for a minute and then it came back. So we're gonna see what we can do with it. As soon as we get this trailer flat, it's gonna be okay. Then we just have to winch the truck up, go out and we're home free. Hey, what is it? Every little thing is gonna be all right. Bob Barley? Or Hillbilly can sing for us. But you know what? We're out here in the rain. <laughs> We're just enjoying life. Dancing in the rain. Drinking pina coladas. Yeah. What? Do you remember Wait. that song either? Do you like pina coladas? <laughs> yeah, I'm getting caught in the rain. All right, wish it in a little. This is hail. This is hail. This is total hail. <laughs> I'm going to scream at you in a minute. Okay. <laughs> Tighten it up. Hey, hold it! Little baby bit! Hey! Ha! I'm not engaged! You don't need to be engaged, you're married! Let's help Billy's friend. Okay. Woo! Woo! Hillbilly Billy is now engaged. <laughs> Go, little Hillbilly! <laughs> I think we need to go to the low side and just pull that first. I think I better just unhook this high side so you're dragging the lower wheel. So let it out. Hold it. <laughs> so much water. Who ordered this? I don't know. Chris, did you order this? I absolutely did not, sir. Like I want to screw up and with a side of rain stack. <laughs> you are so soaking wet. Look at that water drip. Oh. <laughs> I love it. Whoa. Don't do that. Go in. Okay. Um. Little more. You're sliding. Um. We are going to have to go to the top side. Hold it. In. Go a little. Go. Go. Everybody go. Go. Everybody go. Okay, hold it. Hold. See it go. See it go. Hey, what? Right, hey, nobody go. Have Cody go. He is sliding. Hey, hold it. Everybody, time out. Can we let off? I'm getting the trailer position. Okay. So I'm going to unhook the back and only hook the front. And as he's pulling, it should slither down. <laughs> It is so slippery. Just keep your wheel straight. Right there, hold it. A little more. <laughs> it's working. It Everybody is. just take a deep breath. Did you see how really just sliding? Yeah. It's like Cause that thing weighs like five pounds. <laughs> go, 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 go. Back to what it needs. Hold your brakes. All right, so we've got it straight now. So we're just going to try to work it down the road. See if we can get it past this bad spot. Okay. Steve, put it in reverse. Come in. Come in. I'm going to reposition Cody over to hold pressure on the truck. Okay, hold it. Okay, put him back in up, Steve. Come, Lily. Go. Start winching. Very critical to keep it. Hold on. To go, to drive with it. 
Is it sloping off at all? Leave him hooked up yeah, to me. No, Give no, me that yeah. extra power, but let's get rid of this. Get rid of this. All right, so we've got it to the point where we're just going to back it up. So you can see how far we made it. We're on flat ground. Luckily, we're on flat ground. So we're going to we're going to keep the tracker hooked up just to guide him out. If we get into any weird spots, we'll stop. We'll hook back up. But I mean, we've just we're out of harm's way now. So good job. All right, so I'm going to go check out where we were at. This stuff is slick, but we made it. So right here is the very, very bad spot. You can see right here where the trailer went off. And luckily we didn't roll it. So this was getting bad in a hurry, but we got it. Against all odds and all the looky loos that wouldn't leave, we got it. Steve's gonna continue backing up. We're gonna get it on flat ground. Plateur, like an actual road. Go, 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 go! Don't stop! Keep going! All the way to the road! And it's on the road! Look at it! Good job, Hillbilly. The little trekker that could. I think will impress a lot of people. Yeah, it did, it did really good. We're proud of that trekker. And if you're proud of that trekker, let Hillbilly know in the comments. At least we got the trekker because we ain't got nothing else. <laughs> Let's get all unhooked. Let's go say our goodbyes. <laughs> good job, guys. Good job, Cody. Good job, Steve. Hey, good job, spotter. Uh, you're, he's our... Glad to help out where I can. He's our resident spotter since he got this into that predicament, he helped us get it out. I don't feel like I did too much other than- You did, you did ruin a, a bunch of people's weekends, but- <laughs> That didn't ruin it, this made our hey weekend man. good. Uh, it's out. Thank you. Absolutely. Nobody's hurt. He gets to go home tonight with all his kids, yep. and all his kids' toys, and his camp trailer. Absolutely. That we was, got it. That was an awesome picking. And I didn't even fall. Recovery. Yeah, he didn't, I almost did. Yeah, but- Didn't fall, that's lucky. Thank you so much. Yeah, absolutely, man. man. So, as usual, we got him out successfully, so he gets a shirt. I don't think you're okay now. And here's your keys. I think oh. you're okay to drive now. Ah, you never know. Yeah, you're good. We got it safely back over there. So, absolutely. We appreciate you calling yep. us. Here's you. Lifesaver. We got lucky. So, as always, we appreciate you guys. If you enjoyed this video, go check out this one. Yeah. <laughs>